Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. Today I am going to be filming a day in the life of a supply teacher. I am off to a primary school close by. And I'm going to be teaching a mixed class of year one and year two children. So I'm just gonna make myself a pumpkin spice cake and espresso, and then we're gonna be on our way. So come along with me. only about 25 minutes away from here so I've got a long time before I have to get there just to get kind of everything situated um, because every school you go in is different and you don't know where the toilets are, you don't know where the staff room is, the kitchen um, and then you need to look over all the planning that the teachers left for you, the timetable for the day, like there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done so I mean I've still, I'm still going to have 20 minutes which is fine, it's just not as long as I would have liked but that's fine. So I've just been enjoying the sun, enjoying the sunrise and drinking my pumpkin spice latte which has been delicious okay I've just arrived here I've made it so I'm gonna head in and hopefully I'll be able to film inside I'm gonna film on my phone because this camera is just too big I mean it's this camera if you can see in the mirror so this is way too big to take into a school so I'm just gonna take my phone and if I manage to film great if not i'll see you at lunchtime hey everyone so i've just made myself a cup of tea the morning is just finished um i've taught maths to year one and then we swapped and i taught it to year two and then same with phonics they mixed up into mixed ability groups so i got the middle ability group so we went over the sound a which is the split digraph a e um so that's what we've done this morning and then now we're going to do some science which looks like it's sorting out material so i've got these hoops let me show you these which we're going to put out on the carpet and i've got words to go in each and then the children have to come up and match them up to the words so it might be twisty bendy um words squash bend twist and stretch that's what the words we're going to be looking at today and then year two we're going to go off and sort the materials on the table and sort and hoops and then year one are going to work with me um basically working on vocabulary so that is what we've got planned today We are doing that till five past two, then it's tidy up time, two playtime sessions for each class. While year one are out, I do master number with year two and then swap and do the same with year one. And then read a story and get ready for home time. Quite an easy afternoon. So now I'm just gonna mark their maths. This is what year one did this morning. So I'm just gonna go over that and get it marked. I have five more minutes before the children come in so I am going to pop to the toilet I'm waiting for this to cool down it is so hot but I'll put the lid back on and then it is science okay so I am 
done for the day that was such a lovely experience i really enjoyed being in year one it was year one slash year two which was a little bit complicated because you had to kind of do an input with the whole class and then send year two off to do the work and sit with year one which was a bit like oh okay off you go year two like usually i have one class so you kind of sit with all the children so that was a bit weird but they coped well, they did their work. I don't feel like they did their work as well as they could have if I was sitting with them, the year twos. But they did do their work and I marked it and they, all, they got all the answers right and everything. It was just like handwriting and stuff, you know, like if you were sitting with them, you'd be able to kind of be like, let's write a bit neater or a bit smaller or whatever. But I've thoroughly enjoyed my day. I'm back here tomorrow in the same class. So I'm looking forward to seeing them again tomorrow. And I've brought some pictures. There's the kids have made me little pictures to take home with me. So I've got this lovely one. <laughs> Just lots of lovely love hearts. And then I've got this lovely one. So, you know, this is the thing I love about this age group. Like, the want to please you. Um, and they'll do things to, like, make you happy and stuff. So it's really cute. Um, oh, I can balance you there while I get my safe bottom. But anyway, um, I've got a 25 minute drive home as long as the traffic's not bad, um, like it was this morning. And I will see you in the morning for day two. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Everybody, it is day two at this school, this lovely school where I was yesterday. Um, so I've got my coffee and I've added chocolate chips to it today because it just makes it so much nicer. Um, and yeah, I'm going to head in. It's five past eight. I've got here a little bit earlier today because I know I've got a lot of setting up to do and I forgot to bring lunch. So I'm going to have to go out for lunch. And um, so I won't have that kind of prep time at lunch. So I want to get everything sorted now. Um, and yeah, let's have a good day. So you added colors Like the moon needs the sun We don't care about the others You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. Okay, so it's now lunchtime. I've just been out and grabbed myself a sandwich. Oh, excuse me. Um a tuna sweet corn sandwich and some crisps because I didn't bring any lunch with me. Excuse the hair. So this morning I've taught year one maths, which went fine. But year two maths was like way over their head. It was really complicated for them. So some of the children didn't even get their work done. And the ones who did, some didn't even finish. So I'm going to sit now and mark this. And then if I get any continuous provision time this afternoon, I'll grab children and do it with them during that. This afternoon we've got science and then mastering number so I should be able to find time to get that finished. So for science today it's just the same as yesterday but they are going to be manipulating materials with the vocabulary twist, bend, stretch, twist, bend, stretch and squash um, and they're going to be making models with play-doh and yeah should be fun. So I'm going to eat my lunch now and then I will check in with you at the end of the day. Hi everyone, so I am just driving out of school now. I realised that I didn't finish the vlog in the classroom, so yeah, <laughs> cheers to that. Um, but I've had a wonderful day, the children have been great. We have one little boy in the class who has autism and he had a bit of a um, bad time this afternoon. He was, wasn't coping very well, um, but his support teacher just took him out for a walk and he came back great um, and ready to learn. So yeah, we've had a great time, it's been a lovely, couple of days and then tomorrow I am at another school so I will check in with you tomorrow I might as well make this a weekly vlog seeing as I'm working all week um so yeah I'll see you tomorrow so I've just arrived at the school that I'm working at it is only five to eight so I'm going to wait until eight o'clock because usually the office staff 
aren't here until 8 o'clock, although there is lights on. But yeah. So today I'm teaching reception slash year one. So it seems like more and more schools are putting two year groups together, which I've never experienced before. Um, but since I've done supply, I've been in a year five and six class in one. This week I've been in a year one and two class in one, and this is reception and year one together. So it's definitely a new experience. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's a bit crazy and I wouldn't really like it if my child was in a split year group class. But that seems to be the norm nowadays, so we're just going to have to roll with it. Um, so I imagine I'll teach kind of the input to the whole class and then I'll sit with the year ones and do a harder task. Or the other way around, do an easier task with reception, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm excited to get started and get in there. Oh, some children are arriving, they must have breakfast club. Um, yeah, so it took me half an hour to get here which is much quicker than the job that I was supposed to be going to, which is 45 minutes away. That's where I'm at tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh about the irony. I'm just waiting for my TA to get here and let me know what to do. Thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor. I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby. You got my attention. So you were saying... So some schools you come to at 8 o'clock and you're late. This girl, I've just been sitting for like 20 minutes with nothing to do. I don't know how to set anything up. Like, I'm literally just left here. Um, children come in at 10 to 9, it's only 20 past 8, but it's like, what do I do? The head teacher said to wait for the TA. Um, yeah. I would love to get my hands on this classroom. Bear board. Bear board. Bear board. <laughs> Bearboards, So many bearboards. Oh, I think someone's coming. Okay, it wasn't anybody coming. It's now nearly half eight. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. There's a seagull on that window. <laughs> okay, it's now 20 to nine. Still no TA. Kids are doing in 10 minutes. Help. <laughs> okay guys, what a morning. So I literally just had to wing that. Um, I got given these sheets and told to get the children to um, remember a sentence and then write it. Well, they couldn't do it. It was ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to pop out for lunch and then I'll catch up with you in the car. So I've escaped. <laughs> um... So yeah, this morning was a bit strange. I've never worked in a school where they've never left anything for me to do um, other than like the bare minimums. So luckily year one is an age that I'm used to teaching and stuff so it wasn't too bad. So yeah, I just kind of had to wing it. We put a little bit of Just Dance on YouTube, the Mario one, and they did a bit of that just to fill some time in. The phonics lesson was an hour and a half, which I thought was ridiculous. Um, and then maths was an hour, which is normal. Um, so I just kind of had to... <laughs> pick and choose what to do with them really and just wing it from knowledge and ICT games and stuff um but anyway we've done it now so I am just waiting to go back in I don't want to go in until I absolutely have to 20 past 12 now and um, I think I'm going back in about half past but this afternoon the teacher came down and she gave me some worksheets off Twinkle and it's just um a ticky box of exercises of, sorry it's just a ticky box of the effects that exercise has on our bodies so she said do some exercises with them and then they can fill in that worksheet 
I thought, great, but that's not going to fill in two hours. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, so annoying. So I'm having full fat cook. I never drink full fat cook, but I'm having it. Try and give myself a little bit of an energy boost. Um, yeah, that's just the way the day's going today. But I will not be coming back to this school, that's for sure. You can see it in the background. I will not be coming back here. Um, yeah, I don't think this is somewhere I would like to return to. <laughs> okay, I'm back in the classroom. I'm going to do some tidying. I'm going to do some marking. And then I'm going to set up for this afternoon's activities. Okay, so it's not amazing, but at least I can see a surface now. So this is what she wants me to do this afternoon. So it's ticky boxes of what your body does if you exercise and then why exercise is important and then and then some fitness bingo. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. So now I'm going to mark these phonics books. So this is the level of writing. Put the cat in a hat and practice an ink. And here, put, put a cat in a big hat. Like the handwriting really isn't good. There was one little girl's whose was quite good. This little boy's is quite good. Put a cat in a big hat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mark these now and then have a look at this and then it will be time for them to come in. They're just out there playing at the moment. Good morning, so I've just arrived at my next primary school. It looks quite nice, let me show you. So this is what it looks like. I'm guessing this is the yard where we'll go to play at lunchtime. So the supply agency told me I was in year one slash year two, another mixed class today. Um, but when I've looked on the website, year one is by itself and then it's year two three so i'm really hoping i'm in year one and not in year two and three um because i much prefer the younger children but i guess we'll see let's go in tick tock the clock is ticking i don't know what i should do and i wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures Of when we used to dance But now I don't know where you are I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you Thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still Thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you I messed it up and I should have treated you much better So I was told we were doing forest school this afternoon But I've got a little boy in my class with diabetes and he keeps going hypo So now I've been told I'm not going outside So I'm not sure what is going to happen this afternoon But we've had a really busy morning Let me show you all the work they've done So they've done handwriting practice Then they had to invent something and label it Which I've already showed you Then they had to to do some inferences from the book that we were reading. Then they had a math test and then they had to do this for extra, digging deeper for extra work. So they've been super busy this morning. So obviously forest girl would be great, like exactly what they need. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? just got out of that school and I'm not sure how I feel about it to be honest 
So this morning went fine. The children were on task. They did all of their work, which was a lot of work and they got through it no problem at all. Okay, so as I was saying, um, so this morning they did all their work great. And then this afternoon we were supposed to go to forest school, but there's a little boy in the class who is diabetic and hypo, um, which I believe means that his blood sugars were really low. So they were giving him Haribo sweeties to try and kind of bring up his blood sugars, but it was slower than they would have liked. So the lady who was coming in and checking his blood sugars, she went to see the head teacher and the head teacher said, right, they're not going to forest school. So I got the message, um, you're not going to forest school now. Um, and that was it. So I was like, okay. And thought, well, the guy will still obviously be coming down. He'll do something with the children in the classroom instead. No, nobody came down and I was left with the children. So he was supposed to come at quarter past one. By half past one, I went and said, is the guy coming? Like to the girl in the class next door. And she was like, oh, he mustn't be coming. So I was like, okay. So I basically just let the children have free play and free choice this afternoon. I put out whiteboards and pens. I let them play on the large whiteboard and the smart board. I set out some um, part hole models with maths. Oh, hang on. Okay, I've just got home. Um, people kept phoning me in the car and cut me off. So I can talk properly now. Um, but yeah, so I, all I can think is like, it is, I am so grateful that I am an experienced teacher because if I was doing supply teaching and I was brand new, I would not have a clue what to do in these situations. Like, it's just crazy how the think that we just can get on with it and know what to do with the whole class of children. But anyway, I'm done with that school now and I'm home. So I hope you've enjoyed this week in the life. It's been a crazy week um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> me under the light so keep me in your